Have you ever seen people on the side of the road with nothing but ripped up clothes? Those people are called the homeless. And if you can't tell by their name, they don't have a home. They're stuck sleeping on benches or even on the bare ground. They barely have food or water, or even money for that matter. If we all do a little, this problem could be solved. Many things cause homelessness. For example, losing loved ones in your family, job loss, natural disasters, family disputes, and many more. Most of the reasons why people are homeless is not their fault. According to Wikipedia, 2.3 million to 3.5 million people are, are homeless in the US. And that's only in the US. Imagine all the other people around the world who don't have homes. And some people only think adults are homeless. Well, they're wrong. According to Wikipedia, one out of 50 children are homeless in the US. That jumped to one out of 30 children, or 2.5 million. Now, that's a lot of kids who don't have homes. And other people only think ad people don't have homes. Wrong. Domestic animals, such as cats and dogs, don't have homes. The reason for this is because people abandon the animals, or, or, they abuse, or the owners abuse the animals, and, they and when they go to the jail, they don't have anywhere else to go. The most common animal is the cat. There's a reason why there's so many stray cats in your neighborhood. There are many ways to help the homeless. How I'm helping the homeless is by making a structure with Girl Scouts called Take a Book, Leave a Book. How this structure helps the homeless by when they can't go to the library because they don't have a library card. And in order to access a library card, you need an address and home, the homeless don't have a home, so they can't access the library. But this is only one of the ways you can help. You can also give the homeless food or water. My father always carries soup in his, always carries soup in his truck because he, when he needs it for work or to give to the homeless. And also, if you have loose change in your pocket, you could give it to them. But I suggest giving them food and water because they could use the money for something wrong in, instead of something right. Either way, giving little is giving a lot to them. If everyone does their share, and if we all work together, this problem could be solved.